Hi, Noel Gallagher. Um, question. That's me. So, bearing in mind that you wrote Cast No Shadow about Richard Ashcroft, yeah. if you were to write a song about an artist at the moment, who would it be? Thanks. <laughs> right. Cast No Shadow is not about Richard Ashcroft. It was dedicated to Richard Ashcroft in the same way that if you're doing a gig, you would say to a good looking girl on the front row, this next one's for you, babe. But if I was to write a song about an artist today, I'd write one about, who would I write one about? Probably Adele, and I'd just call it, really? Hi, Noel from Canada. Congratulations on the 25th anniversary of What's the Story Morning Glory. It still sounds fantastic today. My question for you is, which song on the album has the most interesting backstory of how it came to be? I will continue to listen to Oasis. We love you in Canada, and I can't wait to see you live again. Okay. Uh... I guess Don't Look Back in Anger has a pretty good backstory as some of the lyrics started a year before in uh, New York when a guy gave me a cassette of an interview uh, with John Lennon and he, he says in this interview words to the effect of, you know, at school they'll, they try and they try and make you clever, but then they'll tell you the brains that you had gone to your head or something like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know, interesting backstories. Uh, that would be that would be it. Some of the songs were written here. Some of the songs were written for definitely maybe that didn't make it. I suppose if we dig deep enough, they've all got interesting backstories to some degree. But um, I guess I'm too close to talk about it in depth. But I'd say. Final answer, don't look back in anger. Hello there. Um, I would like to know if at any point of the recording session you thought these tunes will define an entire generation or you thought that history was being made. Thank you very much. Cheers. Uh, no. No, I did not. I didn't. I just felt it was a good album. The songs would be good live. And we would... Uh, keep the momentum of definitely maybe going. On, uh, not in, in anybody's wildest imagination did we think we'd still be sitting here today, 25 years later, discussing it. Um, so, no. Hi, no. My favourite song is Champagne Supernova. What's your favourite song? <laughs> <laughs> well, Holly, uh, my favourite song, if yours is Champagne Supernova, then mine is Champagne Supernova too. And uh, thanks for asking. Love you. Hey, no, it's Rob Milano from New York. Um, no real question. I just need the story of Bonehead's bank holiday. I just, I need it. I need to know. I need to know if there's, if these are based on anything, if it's just a silly song, just anything you can give. Thanks, man. <laughs> um, I'm afraid it's just a silly, silly song that doesn't mean a great deal. Uh, and the reason it was called Bonehead's Bank Holiday was Bonehead was going to sing it, but he got so drunk before he was due to sing it that he couldn't actually fucking stand up, far less sing it. They are quite all right lyrics, but it's just, it's nonsense. It's a load of bollocks. Sorry if I've spoiled it for you.